real estate. If you are in the market looking for your first home or just an investment property, you should listen up. This Real Estate Buzz segment is brought to you by McLeod & Associates, a full-service real estate and mortgage firm. It's not about the number of homes we sell. It's about the difference we make in people's lives. Mia McLeod, thank you so much once again for joining us on Couple Buying today. Good to be here again. All right. Yeah. Let's uh, get in on to the in the segment right away. Okay. Some questions from viewers like the last time that you were Great. here. Great. I love those. Answering. Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is a Marvin from Riverside. Should I use an internet-based mortgage company? Okay. Hi, Marvin. You know, that's a really good question. Um, Internet-based companies or mortgage internet-based companies are good. The only thing is I am a true believer in building rapport with the professionals yeah. that you're going to be working with, especially in such a big transaction like a purchase of real estate and, and entrusting so much of your financial situation with them. Um, I really recommend trying to build rapport with that professional. A lot of internet-based companies might not have the same resources, affiliates that a local branch or a mortgage company or a local bank might have, right. um, you know, whether it's their relationships with the appraisers or home inspectors, um, just their local, their, their local resources. I would be iffy using that also because you don't see the person face to face and you're yeah. right, you're entrusting so much. Yes. But why do people go with internet based mortgage companies? Do they offer lower rates? Do they, what is it that, you know, gets no. people to work with them? Well, a lot of big internet based companies have big marketing oh, so okay. you'll see all kinds or you'll see them on commercials and things like advertising and things like that but not only that I mean um, one thing is it's internet based so a lot of people just want to submit paperwork oh, and, 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 right. and get it done but people don't understand the actual especially if you're a first-time home buyer the mortgage process is so tedious right and once you get in you'll realize it's so important to have that rapport with that professional all right another question is from Woodland Hills Irene uh, can I use gift funds as my down payment or does it need to all come from my own pocket Yes, Irene, yes, you can use gift funds. It does not have to come from your own pocket. Um, it can come from gifts from relatives, uh, family. Um, it can be from employers. We had one client where they had an incentive. If you're a first-time home buyer, they were going to give 10000 to help uh, their, employee, their employees. Wow, with, yeah. where is this company? I need to work <laughs> for them. Uh, but um, also, uh, what, do you need to declare that it's a gift? Yeah, you, okay. the bank will ask. Uh, the bank will ask where all the money, whether it's your own funds or gifted funds, they are going to paper trail all of that. So okay. if it's cash, make sure. A lot of people have family members that have cash under a pillow at a house somewhere and they try to give that. That cannot be used mm -hmm. towards a down payment. It needs to be sourced and seasoned for at least a month to two months. Yeah. And they want a paper trail every cent that's going to be used towards this uh, down payment. Because yes. some people do that, just keep cash under the pillow, yeah. under the bed. which is So yeah. you might as well put that in the bank. Uh -huh. If you're planning to buy in maybe three, four months, as long as it's been seasoned for enough time, because uh -huh. the bank will ask for maybe the last two months bank statements. Okay. So as long as it's been in there. All right. Um, then About two fine. months. So season it for two yes. months. Okay. Yes. And uh, really quick, you can also use 401. For, yeah, 401k. Uh, so take a, out a little bit. A little bit. You don't have to take out everything, but right. we're noticing more people are, you know, if they're short 5000 7000 they're pulling from their 401k. All right. And then another thing that I like about McLeod & Associates is there are only a few realtors who can get you a listing before it goes into MLS. Yes. Right? Yes. And, and how are realtors able to do that? Well, to relationships, to, with, uh, banks, yeah. relationships with the banks, we do have a relationship with one really big uh, bank where, you know, we're an approved broker with them. So anything that is about to hit the market before it gets listed, we actually have access. And you already have the chance to you study if you like the property. Mm -hmm. Here's one that's coming up in West Covina. Yes. Uh, Mia, tell us about this property. Okay, this one is actually not a bank-owned property. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a short sale, but it's in uh, West Covina. It's going to be listed probably around 380000 It's cu It's really cute. It's like a bungalow style, cozy bedroom? home, three bedroom, two bath, um, mm -hmm. a little over 1,400 square feet, and it's a full home. Uh -huh. And it's in West Covina, very near the nice part of West Covina, near Seafood City. Right. Um, if it's a short sale, yes. um, do we have to worry about the condition of the, the, the property? 
you know, this one is not exactly turnkey, can use some cosmetic repairs, but you'll probably get it for a really good deal. Typically, short sales, again, are sold at a discounted price. Mm -hmm. So you can, you know, even though there might be some fixes, right. um, you're going to probably get a really good deal on and, that. And we've talked about this before. Uh, if you have a good good realtor, the good realtor can also help you with strategy yes. with that offer because yes. uh, what is that? Inventory is tight. Yeah, it's a very competitive market. Right. Um, I'm sure once this property hits the market, I think we will easily have upwards of 10 to 20. Right. Uh, and you already offers. have a sneak peek at that information on the screen once again one minute so we still have um, time to answer one more question sure. if the if the house appraises for more than the sales price can I borrow additional money to help with closing costs okay well the answer is no the okay. way the banks will the the price that they're gonna go by is either your contract price for the purchase uh -huh. agreement or the appraised value the, the lower of the two uh, okay. so if it does get appraised higher just be happy, you've got some built-in equity, right. but you won't be able to loan against the higher, higher. appraised value. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, yeah. Now, so. the, the other side works too. Let's say it gets appraised less uh -huh. than the purchase contract. Uh -huh. Then the, the bank will only loan you based off of the lower. No. So you're going to have to either go back to the seller and negotiate the right. price down right. or come out of pocket with the money. Well, thank you so yeah. much for answering those questions. Information on the screen, once again, that's the number to call if you have any real estate questions and they will be available to help you, yes. advise you, and do all that. Thank you so much. More power to you. Thank you. Entertainment, when we return, don't go away.